guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to have two hairstyles and um, so both of them can be for day and for night I think the first one is down and nice smooth and curls and then the second one is a cute little up style that would be really nice for a casual or maybe a formal event like a wedding or if you were going to a dinner dance or a ball or something I think it would be really nice for um, so I really hope you enjoy this video and continue watching if you think this style is something you would be interested in trying and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on all other social media. Thank you. So hey, so the first thing I'm going to do is brush out my hair really good. I washed my hair about two days ago and um, I did curl it the other day with the curlers but for today I want it to be really smooth and just a little curl at the ends. So as always, I'm just going to part my hair in half to start off with one side. What I think works really best for this kind of style is small sections. If I'm doing like big curls, I normally do kind of bigger sections, but because I want this to be really smooth, super smooth, and then just a little curl at the end. So I give the top of my hair two straightens and then on the third one, I wait till I get where there's about a quarter of the hair left and just twist there. You see, it's so smooth and then just one twist at the end. So each section I take is probably like a half a quarter inch or something. It's like a quarter of an inch. So just that little bit at the ends. Flick that behind so it's out of the way another section down so it kind of depends on the length of your hair and how thick it is how many sections but I'll probably do like three or four so straight and then on the third one I mean if this was probably the day after I wash my hair I might have to do an extra straighten over if I didn't like blow dry it or already have it kind of curled because the heat is smoothing it over. And especially when you're curling, make sure to keep the tension the whole way down right until the end of the curl. This really isn't that damaging to your hair to kind of pull and hold the tension. What's damaging is if you hold, if you stop the straightener and hold it in one place for a couple of sec seconds, then that's when it can kind of damage your hair or burn it a little. Now I like to curl the front section just that little bit more just so it gives that little bit of shape. You see? Just gives that little bit of shape to the front. So then with the other side of my hair, because what I normally what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this behind my ear like that, and I might even leave it behind my shoulder and just have this side out. So I'm not going to put this hair, this side into any sections. I'm just going to curl it as it is. I think sometimes it's easier to put it into sections because then you definitely get smaller pieces of hair to curl. I think I might have said this before, but don't take bigger sections to try save time or try get it done, especially with a straightener because the heat can't get around the whole lot. 
and I also think it's no benefit at all when you curl your hair down and then twist it up the straightener because the hair that's getting twisted up is not actually getting any heat so it's just the last like two inches of your hair that's getting burnt by holding it for the 10 seconds when you don't need to. I'm like looking out the window and it's raining. So then that's it for the curly for the daytime. So you could use this for nighttime as well. My height lash looks so funny in the camera. Yeah, so I just put a pump of um, the Kerastase Elixir um, over the ends, over my hands and just kind of warm it in my hands and run it through just the ends. It's super thick for an Elixir, so um, I never use like half a pump. What I would normally do, and it back from one side. So then this would be the daytime look, I think. Um, I'd wear my hair like this really often, I think. But if I was going out, I'd probably make it a little bit curlier. Um, so then the point of this video then is if you're gonna curl your hair in the mornings and it lasts all day and then you've somewhere to go in the evenings, how are you gonna up jazz it? So I'm gonna do that now. So then for the next part, all you're gonna need is a few hairpins. That's all. So this part is personal preference, whether you want to leave a little curl out the front. I personally, I always like to leave a little curl out the front, less severe and a little bit soft. So then my hair is kind of parted to the side. So I'm going to take out this front piece and just pin it away. And then what I'm going to do with this hair is just twist back. So when you're twisting back, you just grab a little bit of hair in with each twist back. Do that again. Just twist. There's no like right or wrong way to do this, it's just whatever suits you best, so it's easier to do. So twist and then I just pull it, pull it out a little, push it up and then pull it out a little. So all I'm going to do is the same thing, just twist it around the back and just as I twist it around, just grab a bit of hair to pull through as well. Then once I get to here, I'm just going to pin it in. So I'm going to put the pin down, in and around. I just have two pins in, but you can kind of put two or three, even four in, till it feels super secure for you. Two is enough, but I always think one extra never hurts. So then I'll take this pin out so it doesn't destroy the curl. So then at this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Just twist back. Just down until where I meet the other hair. So just down behind the ears. And then just pin that into place as well. Now it's kind of personal preference if you want the two out or if you want to bring this more to the side or dead center in the middle, but doesn't really bother me because as as I have a little bit on my face, I prefer that. So then with the remaining hair, all I'm going to do is just twist it around.
and then just around in a bun. Twisted. <laughs> Just pin it into place at the back. Now, so then just pin that into place. And now that I'm kind of looking, this would be nice to pin back. So you can pin it back and I'm going to leave it down. Yeah, so this will be the final look. Pretty cute and simple to do. Doesn't take a lot of time. You don't need heat to do the second hairstyle. You don't need it for the curls, but if you have it all back, then you wouldn't need it at all. So I think this is something for work. I think both styles are kind of for daytime and nighttime as well. This would kind of be something if you were going with a nice a nice ball gown somewhere, something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more classic, I would go for this. And um, if it was a night out, probably the curls. So I think both styles, now that I finished them, um, kind of thought when I was thinking, imagine this in my head, it was just gonna be for nighttime and now I'm looking, it kind of would do for daytime. You can make these a little bit bigger by pulling them out, kind of depends on you. I don't like my face to look too wide. So when you pull it out just a little, but like a little pair of earrings and then a nice dress or a shirt or whatever, and you're ready to go. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new and you'll try this out yourself. It's really simple to do. Um, just give yourself a couple of tries before you perfect it. Um, so again, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to check me out on all other social medias. They're all linked below, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put up a couple of videos a week to do with hair, makeup and beauty. Thanks again for watching.